Usually inflation's about 2% per year. Let's kick it off with some basics. First of all, inflation is normal. Every year, the price we pay for, well, everything, tends to go up. Some things more than others, but on average, across all sectors, it's about 2%. So when April's inflation numbers came back at 4.2%, well, it got a lot of people shook. But hold on. Let's give this a little perspective. The numbers reflect April of 2021 versus April of 2020. So that's when the shutdowns were in basically full force. Um, lots of uncertainty, so prices were actually falling at this time last year. So if you look back to 2019 and compare kind of the trajectory that we were on uh, before COVID and where we are right now, um, it's about 2% two, 2 per year since, uh, since April 2019. Now, mind you, the cost of some things right now is way up. You've heard about lumber and steel and used cars, and there's reason for that. Production slowdowns during COVID had already created a supply shortage. You combine that with new supply chain issues, think Suez Canal, and increased demand because of things like vaccines and those stimulus checks, and you've got yourself a dandy doodle of an economic situation. The U.S. government response to COVID has been one of the biggest uh, in the world in terms of how much money they've, they've given um, taxpayers and consumers. So um, obviously there are people suffering unemployed, but the overall average consumer has a lot of built up savings, um, they're getting vaccinated, they're ready to go spend that money. The big question though is, will inflation flatten when supply gets back up to demand? St. Thomas professor of economics, Adam Check says yes. Over the next nine months or one year, if inflation numbers are still 4% at this time next year, that would be pretty surprising. Um, and I think policymakers, people at the Federal Reserve might start taking action. And that is where people start to panic and things like the stock market start to stumble. The mere thought of the Fed raising interest rates sent stock prices into a tiny tumble recently. Contrary to what logic suggests, the markets are near all-time highs. Despite having come through a, a global pandemic, right, an economic shutdown, social and political unrest like we've never seen before, the markets are at all-time highs. Justin Halverson with Great Waters Financial says, slow your roll. The Federal Reserve is likely to take a wait-and-see approach and let things play out on their own. And quite frankly, that is the best advice for all of us as consumers and investors. The best you can do to look beyond the headlines and just have a plan that's right for you for your specific dreams, goals, and desires for your future, as well as who you are as an investor, that's the best thing you can do right now. Rena Sarginopoulos, Carol 11 News.